we're going to be looking at valid or invalid states and this is our continuation of the notes for application based constraints previously we've looked at schema based constraints and those videos and notes are in the description below the like button so with valid invalid states when we refer to a relational database we implicitly include its schema and its current state a database state satisfies all the constraints in ic it's called a valid state a database state that does not obey all the integrity constraints is called an invalid state. So it's pretty easy to remember. A database state that satisfies all of our constraints is valid. A database state that does not satisfy all the constraints is invalid. Now we have updated operations on relations. We can insert a tuple, we can delete a tuple, and we can modify a tuple. So if we go to this previous example that we've done a video on, and it's in the playlist below the like button, we have our employee department works on department or dependent project and department locations. All of these have these tuples. And these tuples can be inserted and we could add more. We could delete some or we could modify them. Integrity constraints should not be violated by the update operators. Updates may propagate to cause other updates automatically. This may be necessary to maintain integrity constraints. In case of an integrity violation, several actions can be taken. We're only going to focus on two for this course. We can cancel the operation. That's going to cause the violation, so we can reject this option. We can trigger additional updates, so the violation is corrected. This is a cascade option or a set null option. We're going to focus on this as well. For just future reference, we can perform the operation, but also inform the user of the found violation and we can execute a user specified error correct routine. So those are the ways in case of integrity violation that we can act. And that's gonna be it for the notes on valid invalid states and updated operator operations on relations. Next we're gonna look at constraint violation and this will be more in depth with our insert, our delete and update and we will look into that in the next video.